What up guys, Cory Danger back in the house again with another recap video. This is the third episode I believe, I know it's been a long time coming, but I've been busy and it's been pretty dry for me at least. I know Johnny Boy has been picking up a lot of stuff, doing that $20 challenge and whatnot. So, you know, good on him. I've been slacking, so uh, here's some pickups that I actually got from Salvation Army. That seems to be the only place where I can find some stuff and I haven't been really making it to the flea markets because I am lazy. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, first, uh, I got this as a gift for Christmas. It's a Turtle Beach headset. It's uh, recertified, but it's an Ear Force P11. I got it so I can play online whenever I get internet, Call of Duty or whatnot, you know, so I can be screaming in the mic while my room is quiet as fuck. And my roommates are like, what the hell is going on? You know, so I got that as a Christmas present. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Just wanted to show you that uh, to you guys. Uh, so the pickups, like I said, all Salvation Army pickups. First, I got uh, these four disc uh, cases. They're all Sega Saturn games, but for the Japanese versions of it. So this is first is Fighters Mega Mix. It's a Virtual Fighter uh, game, I believe, because it has the characters all located in the back. Uh, sorry if the reflection off my phone back into the thing, as you can see right there. Back and forth, you know, you can. Yeah, it sucks. But it is complete, as you can see, disc and manual. Uh, there's some scratches on the disc, so these have been played. Another one, really pretty cool artwork, is this Virtual Fighter uh, re remix. I mean, the artwork is just crazy awesome. I'm trying to get the glare out, but look at that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, this one's complete as well, but it also has an extra disc in it. But there's the game and manual, and this it's a... I guess it's an anime because it has this uh, little tape on it that says Anime 1 for the Sega Saturn. It's called Forever With You. Uh, I don't know if it's a DVD or it can only be played by Sega Saturn or whatnot, but it says anime. So that was a bonus that was inside here. Next is a pretty cool uh, drawing, I think. It's, it's from, um, it's called Christmas Nights Into Dreams. And then it kind of looks like a Parappa the Rapper type thing or something, but as you can see, it's a Christmas type doll. A anime, Japanese anime is always cool. Um, there's always a big difference between American and Japanese animation. And this one has had ex extra game in it too, Sega Rally. Uh, but yeah, there's the game and manual. And finally, it's this weird one. It's called Rokenite. Rokenich Dantaru. I don't know uh, if you can see it there. It's went backwards to me, but it's like this doctor, professor, and little kids. I don't know what's going on. It looks like a whole bunch of mini games in the back. It's complete. And yeah, it's all Japanese. I took Japanese back in college, but. My teacher was freaking hot, so I didn't really pay attention. I was mainly just staring at the teacher daydreaming. You know how that is. But I got all these four for a dollar a piece, so that's not bad. Then another day I went and I found these some goodies, Nintendo goodies. First off, two Nintendo controllers. Uh, they're pretty decent shape, they're kind of dirty, but they've been, you know, they were pre wrapped, so that was pretty cool. It got a GameCube mini uh, memory card. I don't know how much this is slot-wise. Uh, it says memory card 59. I don't know the space. I got to check it out sometime. And as always, a silver RV thing. AV cable. RF. That was what I was looking for. And the thing that I was really, really looking for because I couldn't find it at my house is a power brick. I finally got a Nintendo power brick, which means I can actually play Nintendo games, finally. Uh, I was hoping that I can find a box, because, you know, I pretty much have everything else, power, controller, and connecting to the TV, but there wasn't any box. There was two GameCubes, but they didn't have any power or anything, and they didn't have any games, and they looked kind of crappy. And there was a PS1 uh, original, but, you know, not really worth anything of my 